Well, after last week's historic turnout at the Minnesota DFL caucus, the party is not slowing down. Ken Martin, the chairman of the Minnesota DFL, has been traveling around the state talking to voters about what is at jeopardy at this year's legislative session. He believes that this year is a crucial year for local and national politics and wants to make sure voters get every opportunity to vote. This is a real pivotal time in our country's history on a number of huge issues and the next president is going to have a huge say in the direction of our country for the next four to eight years and so this election couldn't be any more important from that vantage point. Then when you start looking here in this state at the legislature uh, and you look at the congressional races, there are big races here in this state that are going to have huge impacts on the issues that people care about and as the chair of the DFL we want people to participate. We want people to vote. We want to make sure that their voices are heard in this upcoming election because the stakes are very high. With the support of certain counties, the DFL is hoping to use momentum to take back the House. For us to win back the majority, we have to do well up here in uh, Senate District 11 in these two legislative seats. And I feel we have a great opportunity to do that. So um, again, for us, as we look at how we take back the House, uh, this area, Crow Wing County, Aiken County, are going to be really an important part of that. The DFL will hold the convention at Central Lakes College on April 2nd. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.